Hello once again guys, I hope you're good because we're about to go through the top 10 centre attacking mids in the FIFA 16 career mode. If you're looking for any other positions, they'll all be in the playlist so be sure to check them out. Anyway, let's commence this. Starting us off today is a Belgian, Massimo Bruno. We all know how good a Belgian can become and Bruno fits right in with that stereotype. He's going to be costing you 3.3 million and 15,000 a week and he'll provide you with his 71 rated self as well as his potential rating of 82 in years to come. Wow, started off strongly in this countdown. Number nine stands at just five foot and four inches, but don't underestimate Clifford Abuegi. So as I said, this guy is tiny, but he's also extremely cheap. Just 2.2 million is all it will take to steal Clifford and his potential of 83 away from his current club and on wages of 6,000 a week. And at 68 rated, you won't be complaining at what you buy off Granada RCF. Coming in at eighth is a United youngster, Andreas Pereira. At 19 years old, Andreas is already at the 69 rating. He'll cost you just 1.6 million and 6,000 a week, but you'll be getting an already well-developed player, plus his massive potential, which could lead him past the 82 barrier. I don't understand why they only value him at 1.6 million. Seventh in the countdown is probably the most well-known player in this list, Bernard. He will cost you 11 million in transfer budget and he will cost you 35,000 a week but you'll be getting an already 78 rated player. We all know that Bernard is damn quick but to get a player who is already that highly rated and has the potential to go past the 84 mark is just remarkable man. Number six is Mark Stendera, another guy who I had no idea even existed until I made this countdown. Stendera looks like a very solid cam, 75 rated, and with a potential of 84 plus for just 6.5 million and 20,000 a week. Looks like a real bargain to me. Fancy trying this guy out? Go and get him. At the halfway point, we're going to be stopping at Man City's Youth Academy for Maru Garcia. Another amazing youngster coming from their academy. Maru is expected to climb to the 83 rated mark in years to come, costing you just 1.6 million and on wages of 4,000 a week, Maru is sure to be a future star for your team. Fourth in the list is the proclaimed Scottish Messi. It's Ryan Gould at Sporting. Sporting only value Ryan at 4.8 million and only currently pay him wages of 15,000 a week, which seems suspicious when he's due to grow past the 86 mark in years to come. Already 72 rated, snap up Ryan right now and let him work his magic. Claiming the bronze medal for coming third is Donny van der Beek. Just another ridiculous bargain for you to know about. For just 2.1 million, and 2,000 a week, you can grab a 68 rated centre attacking mid who will eventually evolve into an 83 rated player. Cheers Ajax! In the second position is Mr No Face once again, Fabian from Rail Bates. I think I've made enough faceless jokes over the series, but again, they keep popping up and proving me wrong. At the beginning rating of 68 and due to grow past the 85 mark, 2.4 million and 6,000 a week just doesn't make sense to me. Don't question it, just go and buy him. But the best bargain in the FIFA 16 career mode database for the central attacking mid position is, it's another steal from Ajax, it's Abdel Haknouri. So once again, Ajax have misvalued a player and giving him a contract that is far below what he should be earning. Yep, for just 1.4 million and 2,000 a week, you can go and grab Nori and his 84 rating potential. I mean, Ajax need to have a good little think about what contracts they should be giving to their players in the future. And that's all the information I have for you about the cam position. I mean, all of them look pretty damn good. I can't choose who I'd recommend. It's really up to you. You could wait a season for them to get amazing, or would you prefer to start off with a higher rating? But that's me done for another day. I'm Brace for Impact, and thanks for watching.